I didn't think this was possible, but I, I, I actually come out of this game even more impressed with, with Temple than I was before. And as I said, I didn't think that would be possible. Um, our defense wasn't always good, but even when it was good, boy, they made great plays and tough shots. And, and uh, they played good team ball at the end of the shot clock. They made good individual plays. Um, so, uh, again, I just tip my hat to them. I don't think we played very well at all. Um, you know, 15 turnovers in the first half, and the fact that we, we just couldn't stop them as, as 96 point shows is, uh, are two huge problems. So it's disappointing to, to end the season on, uh, on a game you don't feel good about, but Temple had an awful lot to do with that. Ruben, you're coming to an end of a, oh, I'm sorry, Joe Fedora, it's philhoops.com. You're coming to an end of a five-year career. Um, <coughs> speak of your emotion. Um, disappointed. Uh, you know, I really uh, thought that we can come out today after, you know, such a great win against St. Bonaventure. We could put forth a better effort as a team and, you know, give them a better shot at it and make it a much closer game where, you know, at the end of the game, give us a chance to win with the play here and there, but I'm just really disappointed that um, it didn't turn out that way. It's been a frustrating year, and it's a frustrating box score. There's things you were able to do well. You shot the ball well from the outside. You rebounded well, and yet the things that you didn't do well killed you, and that's sort of the story of what you've seen. Well, you you answered your own question, uh, and it's a good question, and it's a, a good answer. We do certain things well and certain things very poorly. Uh, we're not a good passing team, and uh, with the the exception of Tyreek Dern, who I think is wonderful, um, uh, and defensively, it's uh, I'll go to my grave scratching my head over this team defensively. I mean, we 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 spent a hundred percent of our time in the spring and the fall on defense. We didn't do anything offensively until October 15th. So, you know, and I, I often say that that the Temple is is as good a defensive team as there is, in my opinion. But if we were to to go out there and talk about how to cover a back screen, how to cover a down screen, how to how to cover a ball screen. I mean, our guys could put on a, a, a wonderful uh, instructional videotape, uh, but for some reason, in competitive situations, it, it's a very low carryover. And, and I'll, frankly, I'll, I have some theories, uh, but but I'll never really understand it. Could build on and build up for the next upcoming season. Well, I think Dern. You talk about uh, you know the point guard position being important. I think he's a really good guy to, to build around. Um, and uh, you know the other guys, we, we didn't have our best games. Uh, you know Earl Pettis has been battling some really bad uh, dental problems that we decided in in the dentist along with us a couple weeks ago that it would be better to wait till after the season, you know, just because, it, and I think that really took a lot out of him. I don't think Earl has been his normal self, and I, I think he's way better than what he's shown. And I think kids like Sam and Cole will continue to grow. I'm really excited about the young big guys that we, we're going to coach next year. I think we're going to have excellent role definition. I think we're going to be very coachable. Um, uh, you know, and I, and I think... Uh, I think we have some players uh, that can be outstanding. I don't want to toot anyone's horn before they even uh, play a game for us, but there, there's some people that I think could be very good.